Hello, I'm Liz Lumley of Finextra, and today I'm speaking to Erki Potianian of Nordea and chairman of EBA Clearing. Um, and so we're going to have a, a little conversation um, in the run-up to EBA Day in Helsinki coming up in June. So this EBA Day is the first one in the post SIPA world that we, the Europe is now in. So, uh, you know, it, it, this is a very historic transition for, for European payments. Um, is this the moment of truth for SIPA 1.0? Certainly. First correction, it's not post SIPA, it's living in SIPA. <laughs> That's the first Present time. Present SIPA yeah. world. <laughs> yeah, we live, first time we live in SIPA. Mm -hmm. uh, and secondly, of course, it's uh, after the long journey of preparations we are in the finals of migrating from the legacy to, to uh, the, the new SEPA uh, instruments and, and infrastructure. And that is really now the, the uh, live test of, of, of things. Well, well, while we have to forget the legacy and we have to move the, all the masses of domestic transactions to on, on the new platform. So real test, moment of truth. So, I mean, if it's the moment of truth, then what, what does the industry need to do to move on to the next wave of, of collaboration? You know, what are some of the universal demands uh, to develop a European or, either, or even a, a global payments infrastructure then? First thing, uh, let's start from, from the bottom. First thing is really to meet the promise of SEPA, and that is the reach. And the reach means that you can do uh, with harmonized products, you can reach anybody in, in SEPA. And that is a, a challenge, what, because now we are in a moment where everybody is calling for functionalities that used to be in the legacy environment, and now they have to be brought onto the pan-European platform. So that is the first really big task to, to uh, an objective for the collaboration, and definitely not be impossible to do it without collaboration on, on the rules and, and the standards. So definitely that is one of the things. So what then are those issues that need to be reached? Uh, the, uh, there are a number of issues, of course, that have been there as demands for long, but, uh, but, and they've been met on, on some closed communities or, 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 or national communities, but things like uh, uh, data, data transport, transportation, the interoperability of data or, or integration possibility of data to, to, to systems. So th there is rich enough data that the end users demand. That is uh, an issue. Of course, the, the experience of, of that there are services in the real uh, uh, life which are real time but, but payments are not that. It's perceived that may, also payments uh, following and responding to the modern demands need to be more real time. So that those are definitely the one, one important issues. What then real time means? There are a lot of variations and, and degrees of end-to-end uh, -end processing or just providing real time confirmations or information. So I, I will not go into that. And and. Uh, even more to say that uh, comment on the real time is more important is the right time than the real time. So that gives enough agenda for the collaboration. <laughs> so you, you, you touched a bit on, on partnerships and collaboration and what a lot of customers are, are looking for with this new uh, SEPA present environment. But there are many in the industry that see SEPA as leading the way for banks to offer more innovative Solution. So, what will we see next uh, in the SEPA environment? Well, um, I think what the banks need to, to think now is how to make the best out of the, the promises of SEPA on the new platform so that for their customers. So, I think that is uh, appealing enough as an invitation for collaboration because in, in the network system like payments, you cannot do much things on your own. You have to call in the other stakeholders to, to agree on rules and standards and, uh, and stuff like that. So I, I don't know if there's much new to innovate, which has not yet been in the smaller communities, but, but uh, to, to bring value to, to the European economy, to single com company, SME or corporate, 
to, to operate, do their business cross-border. These on, and only these things will provide the value when it works across SEPA. And that is, uh, uh, that is the, the sort of the challenge and, and, and uh, motivation for collaboration. And, and then you can say how much can single bank do, how much can be done by the uh, infrastructure providers. In eBay clearing, there's already uh, a lot of debate, discussion with the users of, of what, what would be the uh, next agenda, next items there. I will not list them here, but certainly this has been already very active discussion and, and very soon we'll come out with some thoughts of our next wave of innovation to provide new uh, infrastructure level services to, to our users. So uh, uh, there's plenty to choose from on the plate of, uh, of collaboration and I'm sure some good new ideas will be discussed and proposed in, in EBA Day Helsinki. So it's my pleasure to welcome everybody to join the debate in EBA Day Helsinki. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you.